Ooh, welcome. Oh, yeah. I open your beer. Matt, you're the peaky. Open your beer. I, I am holding right, I'm gonna hold it in for this whole thing. Later. Us. You can walk through, don't worry, they gotta see you anyway. Oh, I'll point, no, point to them. Yeah, feel free to move yeah. the camera. Well, we can play the music next week if y'all want. Oh, and watch Beekeeper. We just might. But Jason it, it comes out soon, doesn't you it? Watch. Uh, you watch. You watch. You'll see. You'll see. Smoke and Dagger. Jack's Abbey. Uh, smoke Black Lager. This sounds exactly like what I want in my face right now. Gross. Oh, man. Yeah. Jack's Ooh. Abbey. Crush him. Oh, that makes me talk. Crush him, guys. Talking a bass to him. I'll tell you, make talk like Jason. Make you talk like Jason Safe from Looking More Jason. I keep bees now. I show you one of my Jason Safe. I keep bees now. You gotta get some round in. Hey, yeah, yeah. Blue fry. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> how you doing? I am doing great. I'm, I'm here. So, so this is our first, uh, our first podcast after the very long vacation. Though. Yeah. Uh, we, you might just be caught up, right? You probably were posting you every week. Pittsburgh, right, I think. You're posting every week. So you yeah. might be caught up by now. Uh, dick pics you're talking about? No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I didn't post anything. You're in charge of making the person who posts our flag post them. Yes. You didn't know that? You didn't know you were in charge of that? Yeah. Fuck. I knew I forgot something. Jimmy, I need you to post those right now. Post all three of them. Um... Hey, we just played some music and we're having fun. And yeah, uh, how was your uh, how was your your long week? We had a good time with the uh, family. Uh, I gotta say that was uh, the highlight of my last week. It was just yeah, did you did you host uh, the like the the, uh, the wayward terraces at your place on Christmas? I did not. Christmas? No, Christmas was chill. You just you just drink it. That's yeah. it. Like the whole time, but I was singing jingle balls. All jingle time, so balls, <laughs> jingle balls. Yeah. Um. No, I did not host them. We we did our thing because we had a good weekend. I didn't want to like try to up that. I'm not trying to one up that. It was great. Um, Tim was over. Steph was over. Everybody came over. We had to, all the kids. You had to come and see where I work. Each other up. Uh, we got to go up in your work and like break up in the place. And people thought it was you. Some, Some people were uncomfortable with how comfortable you were with being there as well. Well, well, we were looking for you because <laughs> right. she's like, just go pick them up in the back. So we came in. And then you weren't there, so we're like just walking around. We're like now, how long do we have to walk oh, now? Yeah, was that taking a shit? I don't, I don't know where you were because you were downstairs when we came in. Well, no, oh, that was saying nobody told me you were coming either. So I was just like, okay. Yeah, because um, because uh, Jamie's like, oh, you just meet him in the back. So we're like, okay. So we'll just like go in and see if he's right there. And then we saw a couple. We I, glue it on. I saw your one dude that uh, that I, I knew. And so he's like, oh yeah, he's long like, hair. And I had to, I had to introduce. Oh, you, you mean you saw, you saw Roger? Yeah, Roger. Yeah. And he had to introduce me to somebody. He's like, oh, she's gonna go to say you're you're Miguel. I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, and then, uh, then we, I was like, okay, where is he? Because <laughs> like, there's a desk. I'm like, okay, yeah, dirty desk. I thought it was. I thought you were doing the Matrix thing where you were crawling to see if you could jump out. So, like, jump down, Neo, Neo. I'm you gotta try. I don't flip phone. like a, like a, <laughs> one of those this this spring phones. Just walking like this, do the duck walk. Well, we caught him. Just and dumb walking. We, we put him back. <laughs> in the He's like, how can you uh, talk about bank stuff if you can't speak? <laughs> um. <coughs> yeah. Uh, so we went down to the uh, the Arlington Wonderland oh, Ranch. Let's say Paradise City, but uh, yeah. the, the Gill Wonderlands. Um, is that what? It, do they have a name for their house? Because it's, it's so nice and opulent. Uh, yeah, I think it's just I, I think it's just called um, uh, the Arlington Force One. I don't know. I don't know they, it, it's it's a nice uh, house. Listen, they actually have a nature trail right behind their house, uh, which sure is they do. like the worst nature trail ever, though, because it's not marked in anywhere. <laughs> uh, and uh, we brought children with us, and that was a horrible, horrible idea. You think? Only I mean, because the trail that cut off. He could, like I said, couldn't he like finish the trail? He's got like, the whole thing, or join us. He's got like Texas with a dollar sign, and he could like finish that trail. Yeah, he he finish that trail. He don't want to do that. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a shit. He's like, homie, I'm good. <laughs> what if you get to the end? There's a PlayStation Six at the end. Like, if I got, we did get to the end. We literally were like, yeah, there's no trail left. But there's just, a secret passage. And, and luckily, we came out on the same street we had left because we had, like we thought we were just in Timbuktu for a little bit, and then we're just like, and we're literally by this. It's called Train Bridge, which goes Train and, Bridge, and then uh, you the Train Bridge goes train. to the DC area. And so we're like, okay, are we like going to DC right now? And then we're like going up the same. There's there was a bunch of uh, deer and like, oh, there's rabid foxes back there. Like, well, good thing we didn't find those. Cool. Yeah. Um, kick them. Abby, probably. Abby kick every 
fox, fox in the face. Actually, no, Abby would have tried to. Every tried rabid them. fox. Was, Abby and fox are cool. Abby and O'Connor would have tried to pet them, and both of them bit and didn't rabbit after that. Maybe they would put them both in. <laughs> Um, but, uh... But you imagine Abby, like, golem like like... Yeah, was, yeah. Oh, she did kick me directly in the face, uh, after we got home, too, which was fun. Then she goes, you can't kick people in the face, Abby. No, I put her in, I put her in bed, and I was like, buddy, daddy doesn't like getting hit. Uh, so, try and do that again, and see that you'll never have your tablet ever again. I'll break it over my knee. For yeah, the face, I know, I did make that. I did, they, they didn't make that threat. I'll, I'll take it with my hands and just snap it. I'm like, buddy, uh, dental parenting goes so far until you get kicked yeah, in the sure. face. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm like, how do you think this will end? Try again, please. How do you she think... Didn't try again, though. She didn't. She stopped it. How do you think that the street <clears throat> level street Marvel levels. one... Who's their Thanos, Mike? Street level Marvel. Street level Thanos. Marvel. Kingpin? I'm an outlaw, quick on the draw. Or no, it's me. I'm the I'm the, I'm the king pants me, Jim Vincent D'Onofrio. Um, Is that your Vincent D'Onofrio impression? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's more like a, it's like a, a low key uh, John Malkovich. It's like a, I think we're both wrong on this. I think, I think, I think, I think it's in the middle. Yeah, somewhere. somewhere I think we're something in the middle. Uh, but Marvel producer says that. Um, uh, in, a, in an interview, the Echo producer, uh, Brad Witchbaum, says that uh, Kingpin is basically like their Thanos. It's going to be their big bad. Do you think he's going to get the villain? Sort of I, I hope that, first of all, it's not just Echo. I hope that there's a Daredevil and maybe something else, Heroes for Hire or something. They got, so Michael Coulter needs a job. Give that guy, he was shooting up screen time in, uh, in um, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. I, I don't, you might want to recast Iron Fist, I don't know, but I don't really care. I like Hero for Hire. I like the Defenders. Do something with them. Maybe that's where Steven Yuan's going. He's not playing Sentry, so uh, <laughs> that's that's the news. Uh, and also pretty sad because like I thought that was going to be a cool detail that you know, and he's also a great actor. Like they could have used him in other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, Steven Yuan has left the project. Although he was never really confirmed. So, well, I think it's just with the writer strike, everybody's <laughs> schedule kind of got. Shorten up and he's, he's probably right. doing beef season two. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the beef. He's doing uh, beef season not, two. Not the beef, you watch beef from the bear. Um, I good. haven't watched beef. No. It's very good. I haven't Ellie watched Long and him anything in all this week so far. It's been a. Uh, I don't know if it's impressive or not, but you should watch Fargo. You get like a weird attraction to like Midwestern accents. It's now you're you're telling Jamie to talk in a Minnesota oh, accent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh jeez! Okay. Oh jeez! Oh oh oh! oh, geez. oh. Oh yeah! Oh, oh no! That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it! I'm gonna, I'm show gonna blow you. it! I'm gonna show you oh, right yeah. now! Oh yeah! Eh? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Yeah, that's one for my Midwestern accent, and, and go for the you know, sexy Midwestern. Sexy Midwestern. Midwestern. Yeah, yeah, Midwestern. yeah, we had some good, we had some good. Uh, lingo I'm gonna blow it. it. This this uh, most recent season has Carrie Coon, uh, Ewan McGregor. It. And um, and uh, nice. Mary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah, and, and Ewan McGregor is playing two different characters. Mm -hmm. They're brothers, and he's fucking killing it. And Mary uh, Elizabeth Winstead's ass killing it as well. No, one hundred percent. Her her thick domper. Yeah. So that yeah. too. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Season three, man. That's where you need to watch. See, he's he's still getting his phone right now, guys. Right now, putting in. It's like stonky domper season yeah. three. All domper shots from. It's it's. I'm in Mister Skin. Uh, hey, it's Mister Skin. Like skin. If you're skin watching like episode this. three of season three. <laughs> this Mister Skin still exists. <laughs> Probably right. <laughs> People are still perverted. Actually, I actually do what I'm typing in now. Does Mister Skin still exist? Um. Uh, so man, like, there's much worse than this. I there's even better casting news up there than what you said. Okay, so much better. Okay, and Matt, I know because you're a big fan of Minecraft. So big fan. So who who's the Huge main fan. character of Minecraft? Now? That would be Steve, of course. I was titular Steve. They, there may be a, a casting call for him, and that is our uh, one of our personal favorites, Jack Black. Black. Who I put twice. I don't know. Why I put Black twice. But okay, do we know who's playing Hero Brian yet, though? Uh, Hero Brian is probably going to be Jason Momoa. Oh, okay, that'd be. A, I'd be fine with that. Actually, that's fine. He's also casting. No, this. no, no, no notes. No notes. Hero Brian. He might be just a creeper. Though. He's thick as fuck. So yeah. that makes sense. He's dick boy. Yeah, he's like a Minecraft guy. It's fine. He looks like he's a Minecraft. Guy. Like he's so thick. He's just like a like a, a rectangle now of man. 
Uh, did you see that, that there's a, uh, a little thing in line with him? Uh, he's like calling out Chris Hemsworth and he's like, look, it's all the suit. <laughs> it's all the suit with the muscles. It's all the suit. I didn't do any of this. So. <laughs> like, yes, Momo. I love the Momo. He's, he's so great. relatable. So relatable. <sighs> um, hey, hey, Mr. Amber Heard. Mm. 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 Um, Ubisoft has been asked about this Star Wars game. They've been, Ubisoft. They've been pushing they for a while. Ubisoft. They've been pushing the Star Wars game for a while. Uh, and they're, they're not going to be an exact date, but they're saying late this year we're going to get some more yummy Star Wars. Star Wars which, Atlas. It's, so I have two minds of this. Okay. So for Ubisoft, this is good. Okay. Because it's not Assassin's Creed? Because <laughs> they're not trying to make it a farm. Okay. If you, that's what it kind of feels like. Mm-hmm. But other other game companies that are making a good game will be like, hey, this is going to come out when it's going to come out. Yeah, and sure. here's this, and here's this, and it'll come out when it comes out. Well, maybe it's what they gave late this year. Maybe they're like aiming for October, but they're going to... A lot of times, too, like, they'll be like, oh, use more polish, and hopefully that's what they do, and not crunch it and fuck it I up. I hope that... Uh, if anybody's going to fuck it up... Yeah. ...is Ubisoft. That's why I'm scared. Uh, I, I love Ubisoft. And I like, love Assassin's Creed games... And I hate them because I know that they I, could have been so much better. As you know, I love Star Wars games with new characters because it's a, a world that needs so much more. Sure, it doesn't right. have it. Like when we got Revan, when we got Cal Kestis. Uh, I, I love the first previews of this new character who's yeah. like a smuggler, you know, yeah. shoot 'em up gun person. Yeah, like, let's do so this. Like you could be Lady Han Solo. Basically. Let's like, fucking do okay, this. Cool. I'm oh, cool. Down. And but like who? Like come on, we saw. Please don't fuck. This Star Wars has taken so many hits lately. It needs a win. And and we'll take what we can get. And we'll take what we can get because we're dirty little Yeah, bitches. we are. We're horse. We're like, please. We really are. Please give us Star Wars. lightsaber. It's going to be a cool lightsaber yeah. in this. It's going to be sold for $450 yeah. at the Star Wars thing at Disney. So, you know, okay. Sure. Whatever, man. Let's do this. Whatever you do. Just just give it to me, Star Wars Daddy. Give it to me, uh, yeah. Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy. Speak, speaking of Star Wars Daddy, uh, Star Wars, as you know... Because we did report this a few months ago now. That's there's no much word on it. Mm. A Daisy Ridley led sequel still mm. in the works. Now with a female director though. This is moving pretty pretty good now. Charmino like, Bade she's chugging know. along now. Um, and she's saying, I'm very thrilled about the project <laughs> because I feel that we're about to create something very special. Please do this. I love you like, oh like fuck you. Shut up. Star Wars content. We need more of it. And we need to we need to give someone a chance to make this go again. And we have this is the chance right here. This is the moment, the make or break. So the, I think I think I, it feels like and you will break. Short, like, like, it feels like the director feels like this is important, and she's going to put some work into it. And I'm happy. I hope so. No, I hope it's great. Um, I appreciated the last three Star Wars movies for what they were. I could feel they were rushed at the end, especially. I hope that they don't have to do that. Because I would love to see... First of all, Daisy Ridley is a great actress. And I think that this movie can be something good and boost up Star Wars. To I think it's interesting that they got her back to do another movie. Because like, after three movies where like she was pretty cool for being like this character that was sure. like... She played very well, by the way. Yeah. Just was written poorly. Yeah. In, in oh, I agree. Uh, or like, I'm going to kiss him and I'll come back to life. Like, I'll kiss him and I'll come back to life and I'll kiss him. Like, okay, what is that? There's a lot of kissing. What is that about? What there won't be any kissing in this next one. I'm okay with kissing. Uh, actually, Adam like, Driver says he's not says, doing any more Star Wars movies. But so. also, like, he's, okay. won't be back. Well, spoiler, that character died, so whatever. He won't be back. He died of a broken heart or something? Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, right. oh, if only they could do that. Can you please do this? <laughs> please. What did make he die him die of? of a broken heart. What did he die of? Like, he just got, some, he got, like, light me a little no, no, bit. No, no. I hope it's weird. Like, he, uh,. I mean, no, he died. Yeah, I know, but I'm like, he I hope did. I hope they like write something weird. Contextualize it. Yeah, yeah. I'm at, there's a novelization somewhere, and it probably yeah. says he died of a broken heart. Erotic novelization. novelization. Yeah, and he's probably like, oh, I was gonna too much blood went to my boner, yeah, and, and I died. I passed <laughs> out, and I died. <laughs> I mean, what? What, what if his what if his erection has like two little penises? I have a like two little yeah. yeah okay. That's his balls somehow. Do that. Two, I don't know. two little penises. The name of this? No, it can't be. His balls do that. His balls of the cross guard? I feel like that would be very. I think it'd be. They kind of like hang still though, somehow a little that bit. That's uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like just like having balls that like flop out no, somehow. That's why he died. Become erect. He died. <laughs> he died of this. 
I never had a boner before this. I think this should be like a, a short they do where it just shows the Knights of Ren dying again. <laughs> yeah, and then we get another name. I'm Stanley, one of the Knights of Ren. Hi. Yeah. I, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like kind of like an office style. I'm thing the guy with like, the nunchucks. Like, yeah, like, like nunchucks. Like, I'm Johnny Spears. They call me. I'm one of the nice I had, I had a, Spears. I had some Tom Fawz for some reason. We're gonna, we're gonna, help, our, we're gonna help a boy out. We today. have the dumbest weapons. Like uh, <laughs> our, uh, our, 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 our our boy Kylo Ren turned on us, so we have to go hunt him down. Uh, we're we're pretty confident. We're all really good fighters. And we're gonna, I'm waiting for that Captain Captain, Captain Phasma trilogy. And we're gonna, gonna get it. And we're we're gonna get him this time, guys. We get Captain Phasma. We probably won't be killed. All the people that were not. Like we're fucking done dirty. We probably won't get, get killed in less than five minutes. All five of us, like these guys, we're the best players. fighters like that ever yeah. lived. Yeah. And there's five of us together. There's no way we can lose. I, I'm Johnny Spears. Johnny Spears, I'm getting with this. And spirit. I have these uh, kunai. Yeah. I have some fucking. Yo, why, do, why, why do I taunt this? Why? You have the why? dumbest why? weapons. Why? What are you doing? Why? Why? I'm spinning them. I'm spinning them all. No, I'm spinning. <laughs> Or stab. You're, I mean, no. What? Wait, I'm gonna, it's coming around. This oh, is a laser sword. <laughs> you have a laser sword? <laughs> Shit, man. We didn't get those. You should, you should have got some for Can you get a laser spear? Spear. They get none spear. of that shit. They get none of the laser shit. No. Um, Matt, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. This is they really have awesome. of the laser this is, shit. This is the last thing I have to, by the way. Seb. Okay. Steamboat Willy. He's great. Greenlit, baby. Oh. First of all, that is... Uh, Steamboat oh. Willie and and Minnie, the, 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 the first Mickey Mouse cartoons are now uh, common property, public, public, public domain. Public domain, thank you. I, I couldn't think of the word the phrase for it. Uh, they're public domains. <laughs> um, and besides John Oliver using them, now there will be uh, also A24. Like the, I mean, they did the, it's like the blood and honey thing. It's going to be shit. Yeah, everyone's already comparing this to it. Yeah, and it's just like, yeah, it's going to be shit, on. man. What are we doing here? Why? Like at least Blood and Honey kind of like if you think about the property, it's no, a bear. It kind of makes a little more sense. Well, he's just this is a stupid ugly mouse. This is kind of a suit. He's not even a bear. It makes a little more sense, at least. Do you have to drink that? Oh. She said, "Chug your beard." Go upstairs, chug your beard. Um, okay, sure. Um, I have better news than that. Director James Wan developing a film adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's *The Call of Cthulhu*. What do you think he will also have his racism. his racism views? That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, no, he can't, right? But will Cthulhu's dog get killed and then he goes and starts killing people? Do we think that's what happens? Mm-hmm. Cthulhu. <laughs> um, He's like, you killed my dog. I'm going to make your brain die. He's a giant uh, uh, I'm going to turn your brain into liquid. Unfathomable. I'm burning the hating the countryside. Uh... Maybe it's just a Trogdor movie that he's making. Like a live action Trogdor. He's just making a Trogdor movie. You know what, Matt? I don't think Verse did anything dumber. <laughs> I love it. Fair enough. Yes. No, that's, that's high praise. I mean, it, it, is, it is a, uh, you know, it's a venerated property no matter what. I, I've never read it personally, and, you know, I do obviously love. Well, I mean, we've listened. To I don't the know. Thing, I don't know the author. We listen to pieces from it, like Lovecraft Country. Uh, like Tannis is uh, based on a, hey, a Lovecraft property. It's Tannis. Um, so so we we know what it is. It's like a mentally scary. Is Will B. Smell doing anything? By the way, I hope the fuck. I Will B. Smell. Is it Will B. Smell? Will B. Will B. Smell? Can Will B. Smell be that the name of Zeb? I think it could. Okay. Um. Um. I uh. Yeah, I mean, in all, you know, also Lovecraft Country. Also, you, we, Matt, you played The Secret World for a little bit, mm-hmm. right? Right? A lot of stuff in there. I the wish it was ones. better. I wish it was better. I, it got so much better. I don't believe it would get better. <laughs> but it was freer. It was so free. It was very free. Uh, Guild War 2 keeps sending me advertisements like, like hey, they're for Guild War 2. They're, they're, like, they're still very active. They're, I guess so. I have, I have got nothing from them, but that's okay. I have probably still have a level 60 character. You should get back to the ESL, Matt. We're going to play this. Get the Archivist class. Man, Skyrim. You're gonna play soon anyway. You might as well just like get over and <laughs> roll some characters up. Come on, buddy. Hey, only if you're taking me in Middle Ages Brewery every week. I mean, I'll do it. Huh? If you're if you're ever gonna play, uh, we'll do it. <laughs> um, no, we'll, go to, we'll go to Willow, Willow Creek. Last thing, or Willow. Rock. Um, Ke- Kevin Feige confirms that all Marvel films and TV shows are part of the MCU multiverse. But okay, this has been a long held thing. That's been a piece of. Annoyance for a lot of people because, like, Age of Shield, good shows, a Daredevil, and stuff. They're kind of like, no, they're not canon. 
Sure. But now at least he's like, okay, they're not technically canon, but they're part of the multiverse. Because maybe I want to see uh, see Coulson back, you know? Maybe I want to see uh, Daisy Ridley, Quake. Maybe I want to see that, you know? Do maybe, it. You, maybe I'll see Ming Na Wen. Yeah, maybe I'll see Ming Na Wen back. Come on, do it. Do it up. Um, but every, supposedly every single one of the shows is part of the MCU. You ever see that male lead guy that was dry toast as fuck and he was unchanged. Oh, I can't even remember his name. I know he's so dry I toast. I can't even remember his name. Like, oh, I'm going to turn bad, I guess. Like, okay. I'm a bad guy now. Okay. Okay, man. I mean, I do miss Fitzsimmons, though. Those guys were dead. They're now part of the multiverse. They're, they they're were in. anyway, though. But they made it kind of sound like they're not. They did. When they, when they well, first yeah, they like, joined they're Disney. They're legends. And, you know, it was fine. Yeah, Legends is fucking... Trash. But that's the thing, like it's a multi. It's like being in the vault. It's a multiverse. It doesn't matter. Guess what? Fallout's part of that universe. Uh, there's a world where everyone's made of oranges. Bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah. Uh, there's so like it. It's a multiverse. That's the fucking point of it. Like you can make it whatever the fuck you want. Hey, uh, the Avengers are all carrots in this universe. I'm a carrot Avenger. Um, I would pay full price for a movie with carrot Avengers. What, so it's like a Veggie Tales movie now. Is, who, what is what, who would you draft as the Carrot Avengers? There's gonna be a, a giant, like a turnip or carrot that's Hulk. Yeah, a Hulk carrot, like a green, yeah, a green carrot, or even yeah. purple maybe. Hey, you see those? You see those multicolored carrots in? Uh, in there is a White purple was Hulk now. currently White in the uh, What If? There, I have. I watched two of the What Ifs. They were fucking good. So I haven't got to watch it. Oh, yet. dude, they're so good so uh, far. I forgot. So good. I forgot it was Disney. You remember me? The, the, it's you. Okay. <laughs> I have to. Uh, I, have to I, have, I have to use your Hulu now because my Hulu got closed out. Well, it's on the same. It's on the same thing. Yeah, no, I got to put it back on. Yeah. Um, I mean, I got to use my own because yes, I paid for stealing it. Stealing things is wrong. My Netflix. Yeah, hey, man, you wouldn't steal a my car. Netflix when I had to sign back in the other day. Is like, hey, you own this, right? I'm like, fuck you, Netflix. I own you. <laughs> I pay for you, you bitch. <laughs> like, I'm not even stealing you, Netflix. I'm, I'm not even stealing here. you. You're mine. <laughs> fucking asshole. Um, well, you gotta be like that, Netflix. You only gave me one adventure, though. Man. I was stealing. I need this form. I'm stealing your drop. I'm totally stealing your drop out, guys. Sorry, drop out. Uh, okay. Uh, we are playing for you, drop out. Uh, Black Panther. It's just a character that's really like black. It's like not good looking. Um, not good looking. I mean, but it's so Chadwick Boseman's amazing looking. But it's not Chadwick Boseman is not gonna play like. What if he does though? What if he's back? Sorry. No, in this RP. universes, RP. Car- RP. he's carrot Chadwick Boseman. RP. Um, uh, it's played by uh, Coleman uh, D- Domingo. Who, oh, who they're looking yeah, at? Right, right, Kang, yeah. Possibly looking yeah, at for yeah. Kang. We forgot about that news, by the way. That was also that was a very good pull out of your head there. I oh, <laughs> um, what? I'm okay with Kang. I'm okay with that because I do. I, think, am, I love Coleman Domingo. I do, think, and, and also like Doctor Doom shouldn't be the villain yet. I don't think they're ready for it yet. <laughs> Because they, he has to be introduced with Van Helsing. They have already set up Kang as he can kind of be a different person. And I also, I would love, like, they can still do this, this like, the fan theory everyone has where, like, Doc Duke's going to kick Kang's ass, because he's definitely done that several times in the comics. Yeah, sure. So, sure. Let's, like, make, make him Big Bad, even, like, make him Big Bad, make him be defeated by the new Avengers or whatever. Like, he's Big Bad, he ends up being Mid Bad. Then bring, they, yeah, 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 then yeah. bring back, then bring back, like, him one more time. Especially when they're, they're doing Fantastic Four, they have Dr. Doom. Set, and, and then like, he's Doctor Do friend or foe, and then he's the foe. But it, it's he's in always the space, an space asshole. Seven and eight or whatever. He's never helping them. Uh, but then they'll bring back Doctor Doom from the 2016 uh, Fantastic Four, and then we have like, hey, I'm, I'm an alien metal metal or something. I, I, I have like alien metal on my body. Guys, did we watch that for Brandon for watching it? That yeah, we should. Fun. We no. definitely should. Yeah. No, I we think should, it was one of those ones we always should do. Around. We should get Brandon for watching. Light the fire again. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for the fire to yeah. light again. We deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve it. Guys, Close. thanks for stopping by. You deserve it. And stay classy like us. Okay? And we love you. Yeah. I've cracked on my face. Food. Take that beer. Bing, bang, bang.